Hello, Maxoids. Welcome to this tutorial video. I'm balance designer Ross Trays. Some of you may know me from the forums as Maxis Little Tuna. Today we're going to talk about an exciting new group of content that's available for SimCity, the Amusement Parks Pack. In this pack, you get everything you need to add an amusement park to your city, or start a new city based around an amusement park. Let's go over what you get. You'll find amusement parks in the City Specialization menu under Attractions. There are three different gates for your amusement parks. They are Funshine, Wheels of Wonder, and Thrill Land. Once you place your gate, in Edit Mode, there is a unique path that you can draw off the gate. This will allow you to build your amusement park in whatever shape and configuration you like. Each park also has a unique sign that you can place outside the park. This will attract more tourists to your city, and it will let the Sims know where the entrance is from far away. Next, we have the main attractions. The Ferris Wheel, Bigfoot Roller Coaster, and the Go-Kart Speedway. Here are the secondary attractions. The Carousel, the Swings Ride, the Astro Twirl Rocket, the Dizzy Drop Tower, Bluebeard's Pirate Ship, and finally, the Mini Train Station. Though that's a little different, but we'll talk about that more later. Finally, we have every kid's favorite part, the Concession Stands. In this group, we have the food stand, the popcorn stand, the toy stand, a snack cart, and a balloon stand. You can also place double benches, four-way benches, and fountains to give your Sims a place to sit and rest their tired feet. Now let's go over how to play with amusement parks. If you want to make tons of profit from running your amusement park, you're going to have to understand how to get the most money out of each visitor. When tourists come to your amusement park, they want to go to the main attractions first. After that, they will go to a secondary attraction if there are any, otherwise they will just keep going to the main attractions. Tourists will stay in your amusement park until they have gone on three rides. After they have gone on three rides, they will leave unless they can refresh themselves at a concession stand. Sound simple? Let's go over some subtle things that can make the difference between breaking even and making a huge profit. First things first, there's no entrance fee for the amusement park, so it's always better to keep tourists inside the park where they spend money on rides and concession stands instead of letting them leave and getting more tourists to come. You can ensure that they stay in the park by placing concession stands where tourists can easily get to them. If a tourist can't find a concession stand within a short time after going on their third ride, they will leave. There's no limit to the amount of money that a tourist can spend in one visit, so again, it's best to try and keep your park full instead of letting tourists leave. You can do this by making sure that there is a balance of high excitement rides low excitement rides, and concession stands. Main attractions have longer wait times, but secondary attractions hold less people, so you want to make sure that you have enough secondary attractions so that they don't get too crowded. Be careful though, if you have too many secondary attractions, you may be paying too much in upkeep fees and you won't maximize your profit. Now we're gonna talk about one of the unique secondary attractions the mini train. The mini train is different from the other rides because it can be used to transport tourists. Here you can see that there is a train track that you can draw off of it. You can draw this track like any other road or track, so it can get quite a distance away from the base ride. You can also place an extra station. Tourists who get on at one station will get off at the other, 
So, by using this mini train, you can guide the tourists to a different part of the park. Now that my amusement park city is doing well, I've gone into the region and made other cities to support it. I made a residential city to supply me with workers, and a trade city for some extra money. Now my real challenge is going to be setting up a transportation network in between my cities. My ultimate goal will be to build an international airport and other amusement park cities to put all those good tourists to use. So, now you know what you get in this pack, how an amusement park works, and how to keep your tourists inside your amusement park. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, Maxoids!